What's up guys? So you guys know I'm a Batman fan, right? Especially the 89 Batman, which is, uh, you know, the film I grew up with as a kid. I got a lot of Batman vintage items. This isn't even half of it. A lot of stuff ended up going in storage. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm a huge, huge Batman fan, especially the 89 Batman film. Now this right here, over here is a vintage cowl from I think the the early 90s or maybe even 89. I, I don't even know, but we're going to be looking at a Batman replica by NECA Toys. So let's get this video started. So we're going to be taking a look today at the brand new Walmart exclusive, yes Walmart, the NECA Batman 89 Batarang replica. Now these are priced at under $15. Dollars. That is insane. Now, when I first saw these at uh, Comic-Con, we're going to get a lot of replicas, first of all, from the Batman franchise. Animated, uh, movies, and I think video game as well. But when I found out these were going to be 50, like, I thought that when I first saw these, I thought they were going to be like 30, maybe to $50. Uh, this thing is only 15, under $15. That's $13.98. It's crazy on the price on this. Um, so it's very very light though this thing weighs nothing is there even is, is there anything in here so the front of the packaging you have the batarang you also have the batman i always love the way it was written and the 89 style the tim burton film you got the batarang replica in yellow dc comics and then right here on this side you got the batman logo this is my childhood right here i love this neca and then on the back it's you know it tells you here this is authentic movie detailing seven inches across magnetic extending and folding feature and then it comes with a display stand so that's pretty interesting but again this thing is super super light a batman replica on this side same thing on that side the batman logo and then there's neca toys right there at the bottom so i'm i'm so hyped to get this out let's take out the batarang and see if this is a pickup or a pass all right, guys, so you do get a display base with this. Now, this thing is very, I mean, it's plastic, but it's just, it kind of reminds you of like those egg cartons. Like, maybe not egg carton, but I mean, listen to it. Hear that? And it's kind of like, you know, you see that? It's, um, it would have been cool if it was more sturdy, but I mean, this is only $15. I mean, what, what can you expect? Now, it has the area right here where you can rest the batarang on i personally would have preferred like some kind of like acrylic display something you know made out of this so we can display the batarang uh but still it's i mean 15 bucks you can't complain um you got a flat surface right here on this side and then again it does read batman like i said i wish I they would have colored this in made it yellow i think that would have made this this stand out a lot more but let me show you guys just a little rotation on here just so you can see and then obviously the bottom is hollow so the batarang is just going to rest right on here so that's the base that you get all right guys let's bring out the batarang look at it right here in all its glory it's pretty awesome uh, every time i look at this i see i see the 89 batarang it always reminds me of that scene at the opening scene where you well when you first see batman when he's getting those goons on top of the rooftop and he takes out the batarang now, I, how cool would it be if we get the Batman gloves, too, to go with this? I mean, to display some Batman gloves. Hey, NECA, give us some Batman gloves. Give us a cowl, too, since you guys are doing replicas. Uh, but let me show you a little bit of a close-up here. So you can see there is some nice sculpting. All this here is sculpted in. You got, I mean, this is obviously shaped like a bat. I mean, look how great that is there. And the ends here, they got the silver tips or the silver ends. These are very sharp. So just be careful with that, guys. If you're going to give this to a kid... Very, very careful because this is very sharp. And then same thing with this end here. And this is sharp over here as well. Now, it's made out of plastic, guys. So it's not die cast. Um, I mean, again, it's only 15 bucks. So if it was made out of die cast or metal or something, this would have been way more expensive. So let me flip this around. There's a side view. And then here is the other side over here. It almost reminds me of the 89 Batwing. But this is super, super cool, guys. Again, very light. Now, you can fold this in. So let's see. You can fold it back just like that. And then there you go. You can, there, I'll show you how it looks with each fold. Look how cool this looks, right? It looks like it looks like a bat with his wings folded in. That is awesome. I like that. And then you can also fold it another way here, and you have it just like that. So you can you can fold it and put it away somewhere. But I mean, you, are you ever really going to display display it like this? I don't think so. Um, I think I honestly like how let me see i really like how this looks i mean if it like i said if it came with some kind of acrylic display and you can display it like this how cool would that look right 
I think that would look really awesome. Uh, but this is pretty much it, guys. It's really, really nice and inexpensive. Now, you can display it on here. You're just going to rest it on the little display base that we get. Now, I mean, I think it works great. I think it's very, very effective. But I just would have preferred a different style base. I mean, it coming because the whole thing is just plain black, right? So it, uh, it kind of hides the the look of the battering because it blends in with it i mean they should have added more color to the to the base so you can so this will so something will pop i mean it just everything just blends together i mean other than the silver at the ends of the battering but again i would have preferred some kind of acrylic display so where you can display the battering kind of like that i think that would have looked really really cool but either way this is still awesome i mean if you're a fan of the 89 film this is going to be right up your alley. Now, let me show you another replica from NECA Toys. Now, we got this one here from Arkham. This battering came out, I don't know how long ago. This does have an action feature and a light up feature, so you can do that there. I, let me see if the batteries actually still work on this. I think it's this one. Yeah, the button's right there, so you can kind of see the light up feature on here. So, this was more of a, I kind of want to say like a better replica and it does have some sharp edges as well i mean it's got the light of features and then again it has that action feature right here which let me see if i can find it again so you have that right there so there's a little bit of a comparison with these two batterings all right so i had to put these side by side well once on top of another just so you can get like a little bit of a comparison with both replicas both made by neca now i'm trying to figure out a spot where to put it um i don't think i'm going to keep it up here i kind of want to put it next to the cowl i by the way i need a new freaking little styrofoam mask to put there because that just looks terrible so i don't know i mean it's a very it's it doesn't take up a lot of space so there's really i mean i'm thinking about putting it with uh some of the 89 or some of the actual actual retro stuff uh, but i personally think it would look good probably next to the cowl what do you guys think where, where should i put this guy and there you have it guys there is my quick review today we're taking a look at the neca toys 89 batman battering so this is the first not the first because like i said they've done these ones before they did this replica right here which is pretty awesome from batman uh but this is from the first from the movie franchise i'm hoping we're gonna get more i mean batman had so many batarangs in the in all of the batman franchises all batman films i guess you can say from ben affleck to george clooney val kilmer the 80 uh, 66 batman um they can even go into the comic book world if they wanted to i know they're going to do some animated series uh they're gonna, i hope it gets the, the grapnel guns as well there's just so much that neca toys can do and i am glad that they are doing this it just makes me so hyped you know I'm, I'm just loving NECA more and more with all of the awesome products that they're giving us and for the price point on this it is not bad at all I just sucks that it's a Walmart exclusive because it's going to get hot it's going to be hard for people to find this at $15 when this first hit which was yesterday as I'm filming this this guy was selling for a hundred to a hundred and fifty dollars for a $15 or under $15 replica. But you guys in the comments below, let me know. Is this a pickup? Is it a pass? What do you think about the overall you know, look of this? The representation? What do you guys think? Do you guys like it? Do you guys like the base? Do you like that it's made out of plastic? Is there? What, what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts overall on this battering. I really want to know. Thumbs up the video, guys. Let me know. Who is your favorite Batman out of all the live action Batmans? And what is your favorite Batman battering out of all of the live actions let me know down below guys oh you know which one i want to see them make I, and i don't know if they if they announced it at the comic cons i don't remember but that battering that he act that that's like it moves on its own and return or uh, batman returns when the dog ends up taking it i want to see that one there with some light up features that would look really cool but let me know guys we'll see you soon what are you i'm batman don't believe